Oh my, we gotta go full screen. He just drop kicked the baby. What's going on y'all? Attorney Tom here with another Reddit react video. R slash Attorney Tom is really taking off and there's some great questions on there and some great memes and some not so great memes. Ooh. But good, bad, ugly, we're going to address them all. Let's jump into it. Is a mercy killing a murder? Yes. Yes, it is. Let's just say that there is an individual falling from a skyscraper and they are going to hit the ground and go splat. There is no way that they will survive. And you have a sniper and are somehow the best shot in the world and you hit that person falling three feet before they hit the ground and splat and your bullet kills them before they hit the ground. That is murder. I hope y'all are never in that situation. Some dark questions. Another self-defense scenario. I'm walking down the street alone and someone steps out 20 feet ahead of me with a knife saying he will rob me. Also, he lies and he says he is a deadly knife thrower, meaning that he could in theory hurt me from that distance. I shoot him with a personal carry and kill him. Technically from 20 feet, someone with a knife would not be endangering me in that instance. How would this play out in court? Guess what I'm gonna say? Drum roll, please. It depends, it always depends. Remember, objective and subjective fear of imminent grievous bodily harm. So, if somebody was in your same position and they heard this gentleman say he was a world champion knife thrower and had a deadly skill, was that objectively reasonable to fear that you were in imminent grievous bodily harm? Now, I would make the argument that just because somebody tells you they are a knife thrower and they're not in the act of throwing the knife probably means it might not have been imminent, right? So if you are a carry holder, I could say, hey, I got a firearm on my hip, but if I'm not drawing to use it, then there's no imminent action. So it's going to depend, always depends. Remember, objective, subjective fear of imminent grievous bodily harm, and it depends. We've had attorney Tom height reveal, now we need attorney Tom shoe size reveal. He looks like a solid nine and a half, 10. Makes sense as the average shoe size for those who are five foot six is nine and a half. So knowing that the average shoe size is nine and a half for someone who's five foot six, I'm six foot one. How big do you think my shoe is? It's a 13 or a 14, depending on the brand. You know what? No, I'm not even going to dignify y'all by showing you the proof of the shoe. I might, if this video gets a lot of likes, 69,000 likes, I'll verify with the tag of the shoe. But until then, you guys haven't earned the right. I proved that I was six foot one. Y'all still don't believe me. Can dream sue for face scene? Assume a hyper and toxic dream fan tries desperately to find his face and even though he ends up finding dream in real life he takes a picture of dreams real face okay so potentially dream might have a cause of action for privacy invasion it's going to depend on the state going to depend on where he is going to depend on what he does obviously dream is a public figure but dream's whole persona is based on nobody knowing who he is so he might have a cause of action it's just probably going to depend on the state he's in the state where the action committed was committed in the state where the person who committed the tort is located. Hypothetical legal question, what happens if you are asleep and someone takes your hand to sign a contract? Are you bound to follow that contract or not? No, in that scenario, you did not willingly sign that contract. Somebody signed it for you while you were asleep. That is fraud. So even though you technically did sign it, by being asleep, you didn't have the intent to sign it. I should probably get Photoshop. Probably would have been easier with it. <laughs> Y'all are ridiculous. Would a sign like this be legally binding? Could I sue someone for wasting my time or refusing to pay?
Door knockers, please note, this household charges $50 per minute to listen to any sales pitch, religious message, or fundraising stories. Payment required in advance. By knocking or ringing our doorbell, you agree to the terms stated above. Let's see what happens. <laughs> right on. That's a good sign. This is an interesting hypothetical. So it certainly helps that they have video evidence that the individual saw the sign. I would argue that normally you wouldn't expect a sign like that on somebody's door. I feel like before we even get into the argument of whether or not they could sue, logistically, it probably doesn't make sense to sue. Let's just say somebody even talks to you for 10 minutes, so 500 bucks. Y'all, suing is very expensive and time consuming. It probably isn't worth somebody's time to sue over $500. Maybe, the answer is maybe. Maybe this is binding, but I don't know how it would play out if somebody didn't see the sign. Let me know down below in the comments what you think the answer to this question is. Is this illegal? Board, try this. Tie these balloons to your car. <laughs> try it like a fat <laughs> Oh my. Um, it could be illegal because you could create a situation in which people panic foreseeably because they think it's real. Now, I would like to see these things in real life to see how real they look, but potentially. Just because something is not expressly enumerated as illegal, meaning there's no direct law that says you cannot fly missile shaped balloons, doesn't mean that it still can't be illegal. For instance, if it causes a mass disturbance and creates a dangerous situation, it very well could be some form of disturbing the peace. How does jurisdiction work on the internet? There is not enough time in the day, and this is still a very contested issue. Very contested. There's a little bit of stream of commerce, a little bit of foreseeability. There's just a whole bunch that goes into this, and this is still litigated very heavily. So the answer is it depends. Legal Eagle is scared. 1v1 me in Rocket League at Legal Eagle. I did, in fact, comment that. I remember because in this video right here, Legal Eagle said he played Rocket League. I play Rocket League. That'd be a great 1v1. And I'm just now realizing he responded. I actually didn't know he responded. I'm more into Hades these days. What's Hades? I've never heard of Hades, but I will learn Hades just to challenge you, Legal Eagle. Play me one-on-one, -on -one, bro. Upload. I can't believe he responded. I didn't know he responded. That's great. At least he knows I exist. <laughs> Yet, I think I found the next Attorney Tom video making an OnlyFans. No, no you haven't. Also, oh my gosh, this is a great transition. Not a transition, this is a great time for me to talk about something that kind of made me a little bit upset. So being on the internet, I am very accustomed to funny slash mean slash troll comments. I think they're hilarious. But comments that I really don't like are comments telling me what to do. Let me read you a comment from my last video about OnlyFans. You know good and well that you appeal to a young audience. My 12 year old watches you because you are funny and when he grows up he wants to be an attorney. I, su I subscribe so I know what he is watching. I truly hope he doesn't see this one so I don't have to explain what OnlyFans is to him. Please take any sexual references out of your content. So addressing this, politely, I am going to have to say no. So in addressing this content, actually 93% of my audience is over the age of 18. And on top of all of that, to begin with, my content is not explicit in that kind of way at all. The existence of a platform is not the underlying content on that platform. I refuse to have people tell me what content I can and cannot create. That is YouTube's job to tell me what content I can and can't create. But in all seriousness, my channel covers a wide variety of topics from very, very serious to finance, to business, to having fun on Reddit. And I'm not trying to be rude or mean about this, but legitimately, if this causes you to not 
watch my content and consume my content, spend your time over here with us, well, I'm sorry. And there are a lot of great YouTubers out there. This place just isn't for you or your son or whatever you're making your child watch or not watch. So I'm gonna keep talking about OnlyFans if and when it's funny and it comes up. Yes, this is a real rule. No stupid questions. Questions about outlandish and unrealistic subjects are allowed, but questions about generally stupid things are not and will be removed at the moderator's discretion. R slash attorney Tom. Only fan feet pics drop kicking babies and more. Yes, this is why we're the best subreddit on the internet. Upvote. <laughs> Something I made I hope you like. It says vote for attorney Tom. Oh, oh. The toddler would be to watch that again. <laughs> the famous birthdays blog. Oh no. All right. <laughs> That's enough for today. That is enough. Oh my. That was probably the funniest thing I've seen. Okay, y'all, that's it for today's video. Make sure you hit that like button. I literally have a tear coming down my face. Don't drop kick, babies. Subscribe to this channel if you want to be a part of this community. We're having a lot of fun. We actually talk about some serious subjects sometimes. Um, yeah, that's it. Thanks for watching. Bye.